Welcome here everyone. In order to transfer data from your old Samsung to your new Google Pixel 8, if you see this screen, welcome to your Pixel on the Google Pixel itself, then skip 20 seconds forward into the video. If instead you see the lock screen on your Pixel and you have the home screen here as well, then we will need to do a factory reset. And to do this, the first step is we're going to open the settings. And in the settings, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see system. And then scroll to the bottom until you see reset options. Then tap on erase all data and then your Google Pixel will factory reset. Once that is done, we're going to tap on get started on the Pixel. And we see here set up using another device. We're going to wake our Samsung and bring it to the home screen. We now see here set up and then our pixel. Let's tap on setup and then it's going to connect your Samsung to your pixel. We now need to scan the QR code like this and it's going to transfer your Wi Fi networks and Google accounts to your pixel. If you didn't see any prompt on your old Samsung, turn off and back on the Samsung and then try again. If it still doesn't work, there was a skip option. Tap on the skip and you will need to enter in your Wi-Fi information and enter in your Google accounts manually. Now we need to wait here. If prompted, you may need to re-enter the password for your Google accounts. Regardless if the setup thingy worked or not, you should now see this screen connect to mobile network. If you had a SIM card in your old phone, then you want to move that over to your new one. If you had eSIM in your Samsung, then you will have to get a new eSIM QR code and then you download the eSIM. You can always do the SIM card setup later, eSIM or physical SIM. I'm going to do it later, so I'm going to tap on skip and then skip again. It's now asking us to create a pin. So if you're on a different screen lock, tap the screen lock options. Otherwise set your pin like this. It's now asking us to set up the fingerprint unlock. So let's scroll to the bottom here and then I'll tap on I agree. We then see how to set up fingerprint. We'll select start. The fingerprint is under the screen in the middle. So get your thumb, long press and release. And each scan, keep on moving your thumb. You can use a finger too. Keep on moving it so that you get a full scan of your thumb in all positions. There we go. To add another fingerprint, tap on add another. Otherwise, tap on next. You can always add more fingerprints later in the settings. We then see copy data. Let's tap on next. And as we've already done the connection between both phones, you can see it's checking what files to copy. If you could not get that Wi Fi and accounts to copy over, you will have to connect your Pixel 8. To your old Samsung. If the charging cable only connects to your Samsung and not your Pixel, use this dongle and insert the end which is not connecting to the Pixel to the dongle and then connect the dongle to your Pixel. And then you should see the screen and we'll patiently wait. And we see here, choose what to copy. So tap the tick to select or unselect an option, but I'd personally leave everything on. 
and then we'll tap on the copy option. And you can see copying your data. And while this is going on, we can choose if we want to use a device backup or not. I personally turn this one off, but you can leave this one on. Use location. You want to leave this one on as each app has to ask for the permission before it can use your location. Allow scanning. This allows Google to know your location even while you're offline. It can sometimes help location accuracy, but I don't really notice it. So I personally turn it off, but you can always turn it on later. Send data to Google. I turn this one off and then I'll tap on accept. Warranty information. I'll tap on next for this. Continue setup. If you want Google Pay and Assistant to be set up, tap continue. I don't want to, so I'm going to tap leave and get reminder. Additional apps. Look through the apps. If you don't want one, tap on the tick to unselect. Otherwise, tap on OK. And uh, now, be patient here. You can see the data is now going to transfer. Once the data has transferred, you'll see here copy and stamp. Let's tap on done and then it's going to get the phone ready. We see here swipe to navigate. So pixels use the swipe navigation. If you need to learn it, tap on the try option. If you do know it, tap on skip. If you want the buttons, tap swipe navigation settings and then tap free button navigation. You can't rearrange the order of the buttons like you can on Samsung. And once we're ready, we'll swipe up to go home. We'll press the home button and we're in. So if we take a look, we should see, there we go. You can see the videos have moved. There you go, that's the same video. You know, most of the data should be moved over. It didn't seem to move over the wallpaper, so uh, you know you would have to reset the wallpaper. If anything has not been moved, you have to move it manually as well. Um, please verify before you factory reset your old Samsung. You know all of your accounts are signed in. Everything on your Pixel is operational. Otherwise, you may lose some data that way. With that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.